Hi, this is Brian Cantoni, and in this video I'm going to show part two of my demo series with the Vagrant Cassandra templates. And part two is the multi-node scenario where we have OpCenter installed on one node and we'll use it to install on three other nodes. This is all available on GitHub under my B. Cantoni account. So I'm going to copy the clone URL and we're going to take a look at step two, the multi-node setup. Node zero is going to be the op center host and nodes one through three are going to end up with Cassandra. So first the prerequisites. I've already edited my hosts file for node zero through three with the IP addresses we're going to use. Double checking that we have both Vagrant and VirtualBox installed and available on the command line. So now we'll git clone the Vagrant Cassandra project. And from in here we're going to use the uh, directory called 2.multinode. It already has the Vagrant file in there. And we're going to run time up parallel. This brings up all four nodes in parallel. And I'm going to jump ahead so you don't have to watch all the boring details. That actually took a little over two minutes, which isn't too bad. If I do a Vagrant status right now, I should see all four nodes are running. And I'm going to go ahead and log into the first one. And we're going to make sure that OpCenter is running with the OpCenter D service. And it is. So now we can bring up a web browser to node 0, port 8888 and we'll bring up the OpCenter UI. We're going to pick the Create Brand New Cluster option. Remember the other three nodes have nothing running on them yet. So we're going to pick the DataStax Community Edition here and the nodes are just going to be by name, node 1, 2, and 3. And the credentials are Vagrant Vagrant, which is the default. And if I scroll down, I can hit Build Cluster, Accept Fingerprints. Now we'll see a build in progress. So we'll pause this and jump ahead. And the cluster build is complete. That took about three minutes. Here's the dashboard for our test cluster. If I click on the Nodes option, you'll see that we have three nodes. Everything is green. Node 1, 2, and 3 and there's also a list view. Now what we're going to do just to show some activity here is log into the first node, node 1, and Cassandra comes with a tool called Cassandra Stress which writes some random numbers so we're going to write on the node 1 we're going to write 300,000 records basically and it does these at a pretty high rate and if we switch over here you'll see that there is activity shown by the load and the activity so again github.com slash bcantoni or reach me on twitter at bcantoni thanks for watching